Have you ever wanted to have a clean and professional look to your stitches in your leather craft? Well, hopefully today's video, we're gonna learn a little bit about that, talk some things through and learn a new skill. So we're going to need a few tools before we start. First and foremost, we're gonna need some leather. So I've already pre-cut and pre-glued a little bit of scrap here that we're gonna be working on. We also need what's known as a stitching punch or a stitching iron. Um, I get my stitching irons from Cinebrox. Uh, these are very, very high quality tools. They're also handmade from brass and just the weight behind them and they're lethally sharp and they're just dead, dead straight. These things rock. Now, with these professional quality tools, there is a, maybe a slightly higher price tag that goes along with them. Tandy Leather have some very, very, very good, very, very good quality budget friendly options. So I would strongly advise you go check them out. Couple more tools we're gonna need. We're gonna need a hammer, a mallet. Don't use metal on metal. That When you do that, we're gonna mushroom out the tip of our metal uh, tools. You don't wanna do that, especially you've got beautiful tools, you want them to last as long as they possibly can. You wanna use a plastic or a nylon headed mallet. This one here is from Palo Santo, a very, very good tool. Again, for when I first started leather crafting, I actually used a one pound camping mallet that was made of rubber. Get whatever you can. Uh, I would say try and get something with a bit of weight behind it. Uh, Palo Santo make exceptional tools, very, very good quality. But again, there's a price tag added to them. Now, we're also gonna want some thread. I use Venimo thread. Venimo thread is an extremely high quality thread it's just very very good it's made from bonded nylon it's extremely strong and extremely durable last couple of items we're going to need some needles so i've got size 2 john james needles here and a wing divider now a wing divider is literally just a tool that marks marks a length so we're going to want it sticking at about the four millimeter mark and the last thing you're going to want something to hammer into because you don't want to hammer in into metal and, and break up the teeth. So we're gonna mark our stitch line at four millimeters. Hammer in. Okay guys, so let's learn how to thread a needle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the end of our thread and we're gonna poke it through the eye of the needle. Okay, then you're gonna pull a little, about a needle's length in the thread and then you're gonna actually pierce the thread. And then you're just gonna pull and create that knot. You pull it tight so that, that needle's now not going anywhere. Do the same thing on the other side. And now we're ready to learn how to saddle stitch. I forgot one tool. We're also gonna use a stitching pony. Okay, now these things, you can get stitching ponies from Amazon. Mine was just about 10 quid. If you don't, don't have one of these, you can actually use a book as well and just use it in the same way, open up the pages and clamp it together. Okay, now that we've got our holes punched and we've got our needles threaded, we're gonna put this in to our stitching clamp. So that shouldn't be going anywhere now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, first we're gonna go in from the right, okay? So we're in from the right and make sure that on each side, the thread size matches, so that looks good. So now, from now on, we're gonna go in from the left. So you find find your hole and you push through and this is this part, next part is quite important so what we're going to do is we're going to come underneath with this needle and then we're going to pull out then we're going to pull down down on the thread and I use my second finger here just to hold it down and then we're going to go in with our other needle from our right hand and we're going to push through this next part what we're going to do is we're going to lift the thread over and then we're going to pull through 
Now another thing we can do here to make sure that we get a really, really crisp angle to stitch is we can cast. Okay, so that means we're gonna move our left hand up the way and our right hand down the way and pull like that. That really just accents those stitches and makes sure that we get the nice crisp angled stitch that we want to see. So let's just try that again. So we're gonna go in from the left. We're gonna go under with this needle here, underneath and pull. Now we're gonna pull down and use our second finger just to make sure that we're keeping that thread down. Then with our right hand needle, we're gonna go in and remember what we're going to do now is lift this thread over the top of that needle. And we're gonna pull and cast. Make sure you try and pull both threads at about the same kind of speed. Let's try a few more times. So in on the left, under the right, make sure we pull over on the left hand stitch. Sometimes it doesn't want to go in the first time so you can come in on the right first and just open up, open up those little holes and make sure that it's easy to go through. Okay, when we come to the end of our stitch line, what we're going to want to do is back stitch a few stitches. Now I always think at least one and a half stitches, but if you're going to go for maybe a wallet pocket or something that's gonna get a lot of wear and tear, a lot of cards being put in there, what you're gonna to want to do is back stitch maybe three and a half, three and a half stitches. So that's just back three and we're just gonna go in our right, in one more time, pull it through, and then we're gonna have both ends of the thread out on the same, the same side. One of the last things you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to wanna to cut that thread. And then you're going to want to burn those edges, the edges of the thread away and rub them back into the leather. Now you'll notice on this side of the stitch, we've got those really, really nice angled stitches. However, on this side, it's maybe a little bit flatter. Now that's because this is the side we punched through and the holes are a little bit open. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hammer them down. Now I have a brass hammer from Palo Santo. Now this is a very, very good tool for hammering down those sti stitches. And as you can now see, they're much more angled. So there we go guys, that's how we do a professional saddle stitch that will last years to come in your leather goods. I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks very much for your time, bye for now.